I'm Dr. Swati Chaudhary, dental surgeon from Prayagraj. I hope you all are doing good. Today, I'm introducing my dental channel named Dental Kunji. My goal for you is to teach you in simpler and concise way. Let's start with the basics of dentistry. Today's video is gonna be about tooth numbering system. Tooth numbering system. What is tooth numbering system? It is a notation. It is a notation used by a dentist to denote and specify information linked with a particular tooth. What it is? It is a notation used by a dentist to donate and specify information linked with a particular tooth. Now, why do we need this? Or what is the purpose of this? Why? We need this because for easy identification, for easy identification, for communication purpose, for communication purpose, for dental record maintenance, for dental record maintenance in an easy and precise manner. So, what is the tooth numbering system? It is a notation used by a dentist to donate and specify information with a linked with a particular tooth. Why we need this tooth numbering system? For easy identification, for communication purpose, for dental record maintenance in an easy and precise manner. Now we'll study about dental formula. Dental formula. This here we'll study about deciduous. Here we'll study about permanent. So deciduous incisors we have we have canine, we have molars. So, incisors 2 we have, central incisor, lateral incisor, canine we have 1 in upper jaw and 1 in lower jaw, molar we have 2, so it will be 10. So, in both the jaws we will have 20 teeth, that is why in deciduous dentition we have 20 teeth. In permanent dentition, incisors, canine, we will have one more, that is premolar, this is molar. Okay, incisor, central incisor, lateral incisor, canine we have one, premolar we have two teeth, in molar we have three, first molar, second molar, third molar, this will have 16. In both the jaws, then we will have this in permanent dentition, it will have 32 teeth. Okay, now we will study about dental quadrant. Dental quadrant. It is divided into four sections. Okay. Four sections. We have first quadrant. We have this is second one. This is third one. This is fourth one. This is mid sagittal plane. This is mid sagittal plane. It will go in clockwise direction remember it will always go in clockwise direction okay so this is this portion is upper this portion is lower this portion is right this is left so it here will be this is upper right This is upper left, this is lower left, this is lower right, okay? 
dental quadrants we have four quadrants first quadrant second third fourth it will always go in clockwise direction this is mid sagittal plane this is upper part this is lower part this is right part this is left part so this is upper right this is upper right this is upper left see lower right this is lower left okay now tooth numbering system is divided into three sections first we have universal system second one is symbolic system or zigmondi palmon zigmondi palmon notation system notation system third one will be two digit system or fdi system fdi is also known as federation dentair international now we'll first we'll study about universal system universal system it is by ADA that is American Dental Association in 1967 here everywhere we will study deciduous dentition here we will decide about permanent dentition we will draw like this this is our mid sagittal plane now this is what this is this is upper right this is lower right this is upper left this is lower left same here upper right upper left lower left this is lower right in clockwise direction okay we'll go in alphabets in deciduous we'll start with a b c d e we'll go on g h i j l m n o p q r s t this is of deciduous dentition in universal system in permanent dentition we'll go in numbers why numbers because alphabets we have only 27 characters so we'll have in numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 same in every quadrant 9 till 16 17 till 24 25 till 32 okay so each quadrant has five teeth okay 5 10 15 20 so we in deciduous we have 20 teeth in total in every quadrant has 8 here we have 32 teeth now the example part if you will going to ask who upper right central incisor in universal system see up what i have said upper right central incisor this is upper right, right this is central incisor the answer will be e same in permanent dentition example if So what is two four? You can say two four. See lower left. This is lower left central incisor. Okay. Now, now second one is symbolic or Zygmondi palmal notation system. It was given by Zygmondi and Palmer in 1861. We'll draw like this: deciduous dentition. Here we'll draw like permanent dentition. Here we'll write this. Here we'll write this. This is our mid sagittal plane. Now this is upper right, lower right, upper left, lower left. Same upper right, lower right. upper left lower left now we'll go in alphabets we'll go from 
A to E. A, B, C, D, E. In every quadrant will go like this. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Here we will go in numbers. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One say it will go here, one say it, one say it. Okay, now understand the simple system. Example, up, you have to write upper right central incisor. So see, this is upper right, this is central incisor. What this denotes? This denotes the symbol. So how will write in symbolic? This is upper right central incisor will be this this is the answer this is upper right central incisor example here if we have to write upper right first molar so see this is upper right the first molar this is six symbol is this so upper right first molar will be six this is upper right first molar okay understood now the third one is FDI system or two digit system. Two digit system or FDI that is Federation Data International. Two digit system has two points. Okay. First we have to remember the quadrant and the particular tooth. It is accepted by World Health Organization. Here we write deciduous. Here we will write permanent dentition. C. The first thing I want to tell you all. C. Quadrant. What we have studied earlier in dental quadrants. This is the first quadrant. This is second. This is third and fourth. First we will study a permanent. Four. In deciduous we will see a five, six, seven, eight. Understood? First quadrant, second, third, fourth, five, six, seven, eight. Now. Will in uh, FDI system will go in numbers. So in permanent will go one one, one two, one three, one four. One indicates what? It indicates quadrant. Will go till one eight. Two one, two two will go till two eight. Three one will go three eight. Four one will go four eight. Here as it is, this is 5 1 till 5 5. 6 1 6 2 will go to 6 5. 7 1 7 2 will go 7 5. 8 1 8 2 8 3 8 5. Okay. Now, uh, uh, it will pronunciation like separately. It is not 41. This is 4 1. This is not 21. This is 2 1. So, you will pronounce it clearly okay example 8 1 is central incisor central incisor is 8 1 here it is if 3 1 is you will get to know that is the third quadrant first tooth so this is central incisor okay this is all about tooth numbering system Thank you for watching this. I hope you will like it. Suggestions of the topics are welcome. We'll update you with the next video soon. Thank you for watching.